Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Anna and this is the reading for Monday, uh, November the 17th. Okay, so I'm going to be using the uh, the Egyptian Tarot this week along with the Madame Andorra fortune cards. Um, and because I'm using the Egyptian Tarot, it'd be, I just thought it would be fun to do like a little mini pyramid spread instead of going on here like 15 cards all together. So, um, what we have here is the world card, which is the, the peak of the... Of the uh, the pyramid here, followed by the three, the three of swords. Okay, which I also what I like here is that it also says three of spade, spades because I, I do associate swords with spades when it comes to playing cards, and that that's fun. But I, I'll leave that. It'll add another little element to the reading, and then the queen of pentacles of coins. Look at her, beautiful queen. Look at her, huh? What do we have going on here? Oh, and then of course the Caduceus, and we'll get to that in a second. Okay, so this Queen of of Pentacles, this Queen of Coins, has been experiencing um, some sort of delays. Okay, we'll look at this. We, she's experiencing delays with the Three of Swords. She's facing it, and she is smiling. She's faithful. She's holding that faith. I like how the Pentacle is up here in the sky. It's like the sun. It's like d its rays are shining down on her. So this is telling me that she is of a positive disposition. She is remaining positive. She is resilient, and she is going to move forward despite of the obstacles here. Okay, um, these th the Three of Swords does speak of. Um, confusion and even uncertainty so there's something uncertain going on for this queen all right and um you know their uncertainty this is a block that she is facing at this time um and one two three this could be a block or an obstruction from a third party so some sort of third party obstruction something that is placing its energy your hands in the situation and deterring her a little bit however though however the world card um, crowns it is it doesn't well it crowns the, these two cards but this is the the peak of the the pyramid okay and so at the top of the pyramid we find the world card and this is telling um this card is uh letting you know that there is a prosperous uh positive turn of events um, about to occur okay so even though you've been facing these obstacles here and the challenges of the three of swords okay you will have a prosper prosperous and positive change and turn of events for you so this is good it's a card of protection as well all right um, the caduceus card uh, this card uh, speaks about now you will receive news from afar, news, news, air, swords, air, communication. So maybe the blockages have been communication-wise. Maybe you've been waiting for a letter or a confirmation, something, something that uh, will give you the go-ahead, you know. And once this block is removed, boom, the path is open, right? So if that communication uh, block, if that letter, the thing, the document, whatever it is, is removed which it will be because of the the um the world card then the path is open you're going to receive the news okay see how i flip this card over because this the world card and this card are giving this queen of pentacles a lot of power despite the challenges of this which is temporary it's a three of swords it's a three of swords it's a low number card it's not like major it's not a major obstacle or challenge okay it's low numbered so it's something small but it's still getting in the way so we're going to flip that over because the caduceus card is saying you will receive the news from afar maybe this uh comes in a form of an email or a letter or just someone contacts you or just there's something there is something that you're going to hear about you're going to receive some sort of news and i'm not going to beat this over your head too much but that information is coming this card is associated with Mercury. Mercury rules what? Communications, right? Communications, transactions, all these types of things, okay? So um, if anything, now is the time for you to reach out, okay? Even if you're facing this minor obstruction, this is also telling me you can reach out. Reach out to the one that's afar. Reach out to um, the, uh, the party or the parties involved. 
and get updates and see what workaround you can come up with because this is telling me that you are indeed going to be able to come up with some workaround to whatever this delay is this three of swords is a delay all right so flipping that over again because i just feel like i need to flip it over i show it to you but then i because i, I, I just feel like that's the energy that's going to have that's how this is going to manifest like it's it's there but you're going to be able to just flip that over like it's not even there you know so that's good you're going to be able to work things out you're going to be able to find the resources and the means the world card is at the top of the pyramid here so the world card is saying go for it there's going to be a very positive turn of events so in other words queen of pentacles don't sit on your hiney right now now is the time to start contacting, doing, make the, making those transactions, whatever it is that you need to make happen on your end. You've been sitting and waiting far too long, is what the Queen of Pentacles is like. I feel like you've just been <sighs> being away a, a little bit too passive. But this card, these cards are telling me now it's time to take some actions, okay? Intelligent actions, all right? Measured actions. Now is the time. Do it. Go for it. Because the world card is saying things are going to turn out uh, positive for you hope this message reaches you in good health blessings to you always and whatever your goals are godspeed have a blessed day i'll see you tomorrow for tuesday's reading bye bye